It's Thursday and definitely we're doing art display. Emmanuel Adem is in the house, a visual artist who through his body of work explores heights of limitless possibilities, including plastics with art to tackle the rising tide of plastic waste. I like that. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Now, why, the, you, plastic waste, why did you feel that that was something that you needed to get your voice and your art on? Yeah, I think it's something that like um, prompts me like I'm through my environment mm. where I stay. I stay in Barriga. Okay, so okay. I know I get to like see um, waste um, mismanagement and mm. that's like a serious something. So you don't even get to like have the waste um, pickers come on time. Come on time, okay. So maybe when like um, there's a rainy season and uh -huh. things are just flushed everywhere on the street. On the street. So that's alone to like trigger me as an artist. I feel like I love to um, observe my environment. Mm. I like to see things in detail. So seeing those things, of course, will prompt any inspired, like, yeah, to the environment. Mm. So Not everybody, because then, that's then I, yeah. that sense, and and then having that sensitivity and then acting on it. So, in what way did did you put this sensitivity into your art? No. What way exactly? Yeah. I think most artists started off as we drawing and doing all sort of like things we all thought, but not to express them within ourselves. So I think through that means of me like um, seeing, I'm, I wasn't comfortable with just painting portraits and drawing and doing all sort of um, normal things that the normal people do. Mm. So me being known, knowing the fact that I'm not a normal person, I can I, I should like see into things people are not seeing into. So. Using waste as a as a means of um as a resource to, to mm, like we, like we can to, see here. Like, um, so all of these are achieved yeah. with waste yeah, in itself. Is foam foam from like a discarded chair. So I cut oh, I cut okay. the foam into tiny tiny bits. So you use the waste that yeah. is one that, that, that you know and and use it to yeah. create that art yes, and say, I, I like that wonderful wonderful. Uh, these are all beautiful. I wish I could take some time and talk about each of them individually. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. But then each of them has different. How this particular brown one here? What what did you use? This one is used by um, um, frames. You know these okay. regular picture frames? Okay. That people hang on their wall. So yes. when they are creating these frames, they are like off cuts that comes out of like the, the each each of the square um, angle. Okay. So those are what I pick. They are, they are, it's, a, it's, a, it's polystyrene, mm. so it's a plastic waste too. So I just cut them up and use it to just create anything I imagine. Mm. So that's it. Okay, now you, sh you showed you, well, yeah, earlier on, you showed some, me something, some yeah. Like, um, okay, before I start, you showed me my, here, before, before you start, start my, this is... My creative, um, if I execute any form of idea, I like okay. to like, sketch it out and do the, 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 the mathematics in my head. In your head. So in that way, I know I'm, I'm, I'm precise about my execution. Mm. It just comes out clean as I want it. As you want it, okay. There so are several it, drawings I make. Every morning I wake up. I you wake up and then you start putting all of this to together. I have to draw something. I just have to draw something. And Wonderful. I, feel, I like this. I feel, you see, yeah. um, and, and for all of them, you have decided that you must use waste to do all yeah, of this. everything. Mm. At, at times I choose to shift to paint, but even when I'm painting, like you see on the display before, okay. I still implement this waste material. Waste there, material. Because that How? is the signature. Now, so far, I love what you're doing. Yeah. And this is just saying, keep on doing it. Yeah, thank so you. So far, me. what have you been able to see when it comes to impact? How, how do you think that so far you've been able to impact maybe the government or the community to learn how to manage waste? Yeah, I've been able to do this by me putting out my, my, my own practice too. Like, okay. how I'm able to like um, use this thing. So, I, I don't just use it in, in a complex manner. But, of course, there are simple ways we can all use it and um, create a sort of utility at home. Mm. So me, me sharing how I make this, um, my process, mm. I think is enough, is enough um, um, way of like um, passing across the message. Because if I'm doing a lot of work creating these things, I think documenting it and showing people how to go about it is like me just giving them like a, a, a guide or now they can just utilize this thing. That's if you are aware about this problem. About it. Yeah, Emmanuel, so this it. is uh, me and all of us here wishing you the best. Thank you so and much. And hopefully, you know, that message is pushed up to more yeah, and more people, and then they understand how a waste, uh, you know, having an environment, how yeah. bad it can be, yes. and we have to learn to recycle and all that. Well done. It's well done. It's Kudos. More grease to your elbows. Yeah. Right, that's it. We had Emmanuel, and I hope you're able to pick something there about when it comes to waste and how to manage waste. So we'll take this time on our own. We'll get back. Isola Ayola is in the house. Stay with us.